Coming up on When Jordan Met Peter. What Jordan wants, Jordan gets. Don't make it on the bad news, because I'm not. I am not allowed to look in any direction of anything feminine. He's been uh, a very naughty boy today, and he's going to pay for it. Meet Jordan. She's a glamour model. She's gorgeous. Meet Peter. He's a pop star. He's quite a guy. And when their worlds collided, it was dynamite. It's November at Katie's gracious East Sussex mansion, and today's the day, at last, they can tell the world the news it's been breathlessly awaiting. They're engaged! Are you What's very coming? bright this morning? Yes, I'm up. Early. God, you... I might get you up more often this time in the morning. You don't realise I'm already up this time of the morning, every morning. No, well, I'm dead. Like a sack of potatoes, I'm afraid. Peter Andre? Yeah, my darling. Mrs. Yes, Andre to be wants to know. Yes. Where you put the face cream. Aha. So what's it, then? The hat looks really attractive, don't that? Do you know what? You can shove it up your how's your father? How is your dad actually? Which one? Today, Katie and Peter are on their way to London for a photo shoot. Their management has decided to reveal the news of their engagement in a celebrity magazine spread. I know I stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. You've been dreaming about Pete's Willie. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Oh, oh, I'm not trying to look at camera. Not on the head. No. <laughs> Just little. But I can't. Not on the head. Because if you knock my teeth out, I'll be gappy. <laughs> you give better blowjobs. Can you imagine? They know what's going to see you. Oh, hey, that was her face! Well, you just wiped off that glitter off her face. Come on! You two, calm down because we've got... Well <laughs> done, Pete. I've got a fat lip on her important shoe. Oh, shut up. This look, is fun. Look, you've got to look at Andy. We're doing a photo shoot, OK? A photo For okay. shoot. For don't okay. do it. You nearly burned my neck. Don't bother. Oh. Shake on it. Oh, please. Look, shake nice. on it. From the beginning, the cynics thought this great love was a publicity stunt. Even manager Claire wasn't convinced, insisting the lovers kept the love that dared not speak its name away from press scrutiny. It's just amazing that we can actually wear these, eh? And, and you know, well, we can't wear them yet until it's come out in the magazine. Yeah, it'll only be a few days' time, though. Yeah. Can you remember when? And you look. Well, I don't know if you all believed in us properly at first. No one did. Well, Everyone thought no, I was they faking wanted it. To no, okay, they if wanted you didn't believe, believe that, us. then why did me and Neville? No, stay I mean at from the, the jungle when I come out. Remember no, when I, didn't. I was like a lunatic? When you came out of the jungle, you were. Yeah, but I was say. just like, just wanted to get to Pete. I, mean, I was crying on the phone. And when I speak to Pete now, he told me that nobody had even told him that whole day that I was trying to ring to his room. You've got to understand that Claire did know that through the jungle, you were saying you weren't interested. And so I when you come out, all of a sudden, day. she can't, you just say, I want to see Pete. And she's like, yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah, but you know what I was telling you. Yeah, but she That's all matters. Does it matter what anyone else thinks? This is your problem. You always worry what everyone else thinks. The, the reasons why we said what we said is because it just bought you more time as a couple. But the thing is, you know, you've had the time and you've fallen in love and you know each other and... Yeah, no, it is. It's, it, is the, it is brilliant. I mean... beginning of the rest of your life today. It is. Today is a wait. massive day for us. We've got to have kids. Well, wait, let's just get through the engagement first. No, Pete. Well, you can't, we can't just start... Yes. So we've got the party. Yeah, but after that, we've got to organise the marriage now. You can yeah. buy Christmas cards with fiancé on. I know. Do you know what? Yes. This is the thing. When I met Kate, I, I have to say... And on my checkbook after I've married, you could be Miss Andre. That's weird, isn't it? And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. Mr. and Mrs. Andre have very clear ideas about their wedding. Right, we've decided that when we get married, you've got to find someone who can come up with four or six white horses and we want it to look like that. So I went and bought it, so they got a model of it. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> In pink and blue. White horses, though, not pink horses. They're Palomino. But right, no, we okay. have white horses. With a blue 
her dress in a pink. Pink, pink all dress. like that. And we want all them pink all to match the carriage, all like that. Hey, Look at that. What show you her, show okay. her how you want to dress. And this is how I want to dress. And I know how she wants to dress. dress. Show me. Oh, yeah, I want my dress. Very that, something better than that. Oh yeah. yeah. I want that in baby blue or some kind of blue. Sure. But look, it though, no, I've... yeah. But look, 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 look. That's for the day. Look at the day wear. Look, the day, night. My even that's going to be. Yeah, but bigger. obviously that can be the without the crown. A theme, but come up with with their own originality. I love you. The day was going so well until Peter turned into Jordan. You look really gay, and you look like you've got big baboon ass. Hey, listen, <laughs> what's your fucking problem? I'm imitating you. You should be honoured. No, I'll imitate you, should I? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't go there. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Lady Cow, she takes two hours to get ready, and she's complaining. From the very beginning, Katie and Peter's road to romance has been a rocky one. Remember that rumble in the jungle in February? Oh, that's <gasps> bad. Sorry. You definitely want a piece of cake. <laughs> Pete was up for it, but what about Katie? I'm not allowed to make it look like it. But Katie claims from the moment she left the jungle, she wanted to marry him. How can someone say no to that? <laughs> Back in the UK, it was the hottest story in town. But was somebody having a laugh? Throughout the spring, the affair was strictly controlled to stop the media from destroying love's young dream. Even kissing was out of bounds. Oh my God, oh my God, we can't really go out for big head. But this was no brief encounter. Dangerous liaisons in hotel rooms, stolen moments in the back seat of the limo were the order of the day. And by May, they were secretly engaged.